Hi guys, hi here from the York Gear Guy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as you can tell by the title, now the title is a little bit tongue in cheek, okay? Uh, Der how Derwent have broke my heart. Um, and it's not meant in a serious way, but th they have kind of broke my heart, and I and I guess that there will be quite a few artists out there that will feel the same way. If you don't already know this, then this might be a little bit of a a shock to you. Um, I was, I'm very fortunate in the fact that uh, I have some wonderful subscribers. Uh, I've built up a really good community has built up around the channel that uh, is the Art Gear Guide. And every now and again, I'll get people emailing me, and I got e people uh, emailing me about this particular topic that I'm going to talk about. But I already knew about it because I have contacts with. Uh, Derwent and the person that I'm in contact with is excellent. It's a new person, but nevertheless, uh, anytime I want to know something, they get uh, in touch with me. So, what is it that I'm talking about? Well, the Derwent Artist color pencil is my favorite pencil. Um, I mean, it's it's one of mine. It's it's definitely in my top three. Um, it's a pencil I personally love. I know it's a little bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, and I and I happen to be one of the artists that love it, but Derwent are reducing. Okay, so the biggest set that Derwent have in the artist range is 120, and um, and they are doing away with that 120 set and just sticking with the 72 and smaller sets. Now, I've spoke to Derwent about this and asked them the reason behind it, and. I guess from I, I guess from a business point of view, I understand why they want to do it. But from a marketing end, I think what they're doing is wrong, uh, and I think that there is something that they can do to rectify the issue. So what Dermot are saying is that the additional forty-eight colors that are in that make up the hundred and twenty sets. So the additional forty-eight colors. Uh, on top of the 72 tin that they sell those colors aren't selling and the reason why this is my opinion the reason why those 48 colors aren't selling is because the Derwent artist comes in a 120 set but it's only in a wooden box set now I know a lot of color pencil artists that when they're looking for colored pencils or whatever when they're scrolling down the lists they will um when they see a wooden box set, that the, most people will just scroll straight on past it because most people see those wooden box sets as like luxury items or s perhaps maybe a gift that they're going to give somebody, a loved one, a Christmas or a birthday present or whatever. Um, so I think that if Derwent had the 120 set in a tin with a reduct, you know, a reduced price on it, I'm not saying do away with the box set, but just you know have one in a tin as well i think that that particular tin will sell well now the derwent artist pencil is obviously still selling well otherwise they would just get rid of the entire line if they didn't if it wasn't if the entire line wasn't selling well but they say that it's just these 48 colors and that makes like i say that makes sense that those 48 colors aren't selling because most people will go to the 72 set because it's in a tin uh and, and they're not prepared to go for the, the wooden box set. That being said, most people, when they go to open stock pencils, will it'll be for replenishment. Now, if they're only buying the 72 set, they're only going to be replenishing what they already have. I know not everybody's like, I know some people will buy individual pencils and what have you. I know as well some people, and, and I'm one of them, I advise people that before they go out and buy a big set of pencils, buy a couple open stock and test them. Um, but with this 48 batch, that that's not what's happening. And the thing is, I'll have some images popping up here. The f the the colours that they are going to be doing away with in this uh, 48 set uh, are are just absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking at the the the, the colours here that I have up at the top here, the Rioja, the claret, the plum, the grape, and the heather, uh, the, oh beautiful colours, uh, the ash rose as well, and the salmon. Uh, then in the next row here, they've got a few heathery colours. That ash blue, I think, is gorgeous as well. Um, the midnight blue is nice. So is the cobalt green. 
but I love the fir green and the spruce green and it on the next level here we've got like this distant green which is just I mean from a botanical artist standpoint and I love doing botanical art these the, the greens that they're going to be doing away with here are just it really is heartbreaking uh not such a big fan of that phalo green but the gray green moss green light moss uh the green earth and the parchment an old parchment's kind of like a greeny browny color the olive earth uh they're all gorgeous colors and really really help well with botanical art and then even down at the bottom here these kind of like um earthy tones the, the mahogany the light rust uh the the especially the, the burnt rose the uh, Mars Violet and the Taupe again gorgeous colors um, and I just think that it's it's such a shame that they're just doing away with these colors I think that I, I hope that somebody at Derwent has come in when they sat down and they decided to do away with this 120 10 I hope that somebody somewhere at least proposed the idea to perhaps sell 120 10 or uh, sell a 4810 with these colors in it and and, and market it as and it, the additional 48 colors to the 7210 um i mean at the end of the day i don't know whether trialing a thing like that would cost too much money you know in order for them to save this 48 set uh would it cost too much money to um add in 120 set in a tin and perhaps like they did with the the uh the the German light fast pencil when they first came out with the light fast pencil um when when it was just the 72 tin they had two different types of 38s to make up the 72 so they can do it and they have done it um and i would i would love to have seen them do something like this rather than just go we're doing away with that 120 set because now all it's going to happen now is that people like myself and uh, and other artists that have the full 120 are going to be you know it's going to get to a point where we're not going to be able to have these colors and, and we're just going to have to live with that you know you're not you're not really going to be able to buy them open stock because like i say once once the the stores that are selling them open stock run out of them they're not going to get replenished by derwent so it, it's it's a really hard thing to to kind of like grasp but if you are uh, a color pencil artist that has the full 120 set and you do want to get some open stock pencils especially in these 48 colors before it, it runs out with my suggestion would be to absolutely go to uh, Emma who runs the color pencil shop here in the UK she ships worldwide and she is incredibly professional her prices are among the best that I know uh, when it comes to open stock pencils and the packaging and everything is always top class professional um, packaging I've never ever received anything from Emma where the pencils have been broke or anything like that so there th there is that so I, I like I say the title is a little bit tongue in cheek. It's just one of those things. Color it happens in art all the time where they will get rid of a color or get rid of a, a, a set. And as artists, we've just got to get come up, you know, just live with it. I I just think that these colors that they're getting away with are gorgeous. And I also understand that the Dermot artist is not the highest light fast set of pencils that you can purchase. Uh, and like I said, I know that the Dermot artist is a pencil that you either love or you hate. But one of the things that makes the Derwent Artist Pencil, and you've, if you if you have a set lying around, test this. If you try the Derwent Artist and say like a, a Bristol Smooth or a Bristol Vellum paper, you know, you're not going to get much from it. The, the Derwent Artist is not a very heavily pigmented pencil and it's quite a hard core. So on a soft paper like the Bristol Smooth, you're just not going to get that much from the pencil. With the Bristol Vellum, you'll get a little bit more. But when you go up to the higher quality papers, like the Dermot Lightfast paper or the Fabiano Artistico paper, those two papers and papers like it, uh, another good one is the uh, Strathmore 500 series mixed media paper. Um, those papers just seem to draw out the very best of the Dermot Artist pencil. Um, and the the paper that I show the the swatch that I done there of those artists uh, was on the the Dermot Lightfast paper. Now I, again, I know those papers are expensive, but um, 
it just goes to show you how how important getting the right paper for the for the pencil that you're using is so so important now going back to the light fast issue of the um of this 48 set so durban do all of durban's pencils are blue wool scale with the exception of the um the the durban light fast which is uh astm so out of this 48 set 29 of the pencils are lf1 or uh, seven or eight on the blue wool scale the five of them are lf2 uh, so that's like six or five and then 14 are lf3 which is four or three now i mean it gets it's 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 one of those i know that there's when you're doing commissions and stuff like that you've got to stick with just the lf1 in which case there's only 29 pencils out there that you could use but um i just think because the the Dermot Lightfast doesn't stand up that well with a lot of uh, Lightfast ratings, there's, there's a lot of pencils in the 120 set in its entirety are like threes and fours, uh, but most of them are going to be in the 72 set. So getting rid of this 48 set is going to bring the Dermot Artist range uh, in terms of percentages even even further down the Lightfast scale. So. Um, that there is that now having said that i have um a gorgeous wooden box set of 48 derwent artist pencils to give away now this is a brand new set these pencils haven't been opened or used also as well the colors that are in this are part of the 72 set so you will be able to get them open stock it's uh, unfortunately i don't have um a set of this 48 here that are going to be done away with and if i did i wouldn't be giving them away i'm, I'm heartbroken that they're they're discontinuing these colors but nevertheless this set here is gorgeous like i said it's a 48 set uh the the colors that are in this are gorgeous as well um it's one of the things that i love about the derwent artist range it's uh it's a type of pencil where you can layer all day till your heart's content uh like i say again on the right paper it's um just one of those pencils that you, you get the best from it if you're building up light layers. That's just my opinion. Um, but if you want to take part in this giveaway, all you got to do is leave a comment down below. And if uh, you don't have to be a subscriber, but if if you would subscribe to the channel, it really does help. I don't want to be one of these people that just give away to people who are subscribed to the channel. I know that there are a lot of people that come and view the videos who are not subscribers. And I think it's unfair not to include those guys into these giveaways but if you could like the video and subscribe it does help it pushes up things it it makes google or sorry youtube see the videos more which then um, makes them push the video out to more people so if you can do that that's great but it's not it's not a stipulation on you winning this all you've got to do is like i say leave a comment down below if you're 18 Please make sure that you, uh, if you're a young artist under 18, please make sure, as always, that you consult with your parents, grandparents or guardians, whoever it is that takes care of you. It's important that you make sure that they're okay with, if you win it, me, me posting this out, out to you, because you're obviously going to have to give me your address. It's very important that you understand, and I, uh, I advocate this all the time on the channel. Just because you're watching me on a regular basis on the videos and stuff like that doesn't mean to say you really know me or anybody else. It's so important that when you're on the internet that you you always have safety in mind. Giving your address out or giving your personal details out to people on the internet is not a good idea. Um, so like I say, if you're under 18, please, please, please make sure that you have the uh, permission that you've consulted with your parents or grandparents or guardians. And if they want, they can contact me via the email address down below. Uh, and from there, we can arrange to do like a FaceTime or, or Skype call and uh, I can have a conversation with them just so that they know it's not a scam or anything like that. I don't want to ever dis... Uh, make sure I, I don't ever want to leave out young artists from these giveaways i think it's important to include everybody but you just got to do that um i think that's that's really about it oh finally as well whenever i'm going to announce the winner on the 31st of july so it's about a month so i'll give it about a month before announcing the winner when you um when i put the video up i will keep the pencils for about three months but I need, whoever wins, I need you to contact me 
via the email address down below. Sometimes when people win these things, uh, they they have a YouTube channel, but they don't have any videos or anything like that up, which is fine. But it means I can't contact them in any way. I can't like leave a comment on one of their videos saying you've won this or anything like that. Um, so it, it it is it can be more difficult for me to reach out to the individual and say that you've won it. This has happened once before, where the 144 set of Koei Noor pencils, the winner of that, only got in contact with me just a, a few weeks ago. Now I think that was about um, about four, five months after. I announced the winner and and I had to explain to the person and I am going to try and get something out to them although they said not to worry it's okay but I felt bad about it but what I do is after the three month period is up and if nobody if the winner hasn't come and claimed them then a couple of years well about a year after starting this um my sorry I thought the dog was at the door there uh my wife and youngest daughter take art supplies and things to get to uh, a ladies refuge center which is close around here i don't know where it is i'm not allowed to go to it but we decided that some of the art supplies because some of the women that are that are that are there are there with their kids as well so they're from abused relationships and they go there for safety and refuge so we would take or vicky and amelia would take uh, art supplies around and then after a while we started taking buying some adult coloring books and some kids coloring books and doing that as well um but about a year into that um i sent some like artist quality paper i think it was a um a pad of strathmore bristol vellum and uh a, a watercolor pad i can't remember but there was a young teenager there who was doing gcse art she got hold of the paper and was overjoyed that she was able to use all these products that were there in the center for everybody to use um, and so as a subsequent result of that i tried to send some artist quality paper there as well but th that's that's where all this stuff goes to if i don't use it in giveaways or if the people who have won don't get in contact with me for three months um because I, I, I don't want to keep all these things. And, and with the 144 set, I didn't want to like re, redo it because somebody already won it. And so the best thing for in my mind, because I couldn't reach the person, was just to give it to this centre and give it to these kids and these women who um, love them. I, I mean, like sometimes I've had little pictures back from kids and stuff like that, um, which is amazing. Uh, when I heard about the girl who had used the, the artist quality paper that was just that just made my day um but anyway i think i've rambled on far too much here guys uh this was only supposed to be a short video thank you so much for watching the video don't forget leave a comment down below and that will mean that you're entered into this uh 48 set this gorgeous wooden box set of Derwent artist pencils the winner will be announced on the 31st of july and uh that is it if you've got any questions about the 120 set being discontinued or anything like that please uh leave them down below if you want me to ask Dermot any questions again leave that down below and i will certainly reach out to my contact and see if they can answer any questions that maybe i haven't cleared up here for you anyway guys thanks very much i look forward to seeing you again very very soon for the next review video thanks bye